Kenya is located on the eastern coast of Africa. It is below Somalia and Ethiopia. It is north of Tanzania. Kenya has considerable land area devoted to wildlife habitats known as Kenya Safari and National Parks. Kenyans are happy culturally and socially oriented people. But on the 21st September 2013, disaster struck. On that very day, I was uh, producing one, all the transmissions of that day of the BBC Somali service. And our target audience is in uh, East Africa, including parts of Kenya, northeastern Kenya, and also Somalia, Djibouti, Ethiopia, part of Ethiopia, one region of Ethiopia, as well as uh, Somaliland and Buntaland, which are part of uh, Somalia, which uh, uh, although some of them claim uh, uh, independence or secession from parts of Somalia. So one reporter about two o'clock that day, 21st September, called me and said there is an incident, gunmen have fired. So at that moment we didn't know exactly uh, what, was, what was it about, who the gunmen were, and we thought it may be a small incident that would pass immediately. And then we reported that there was an incident, a fire is, uh, uh, gunfire has been had, and uh, that was it in that first transmission, which was about one o'clock, around two o'clock. But later in the evening, when it was about uh, six o'clock for our next transmission, then the uh, incident was coming in force and we were getting reports that the gunmen have entered and have killed a number of people. Part of the building was controlled, you know, the police were there, you couldn't enter, but uh, 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 my uh, cousins and everything, they were actually uh, involved in, uh, I think, a cooking competition there. There was like half a dozen families and they were involved in a, a competition you know, uh, there. And they, they, I mean, uh, they were dropped off there by the driver, uh, I think on the second or, th on the, or third floor. So, uh, you know, once we heard uh, what happened, uh, first of all, the cousins, they said, oh, this, this happened. They actually walked in. They walked into the building. And, and, and just uh, saw the bodies on the floor. As BBC, we, we were reporting that around 67 in total have died. Uh, that is a conservative number, which BBC is always conservative to make sure that it doesn't exaggerate the number. So it's very conservative and uh, most probably the factual number that we could have confirmed. The attack which resulted in at least 72 deaths including 61 civilians, six Kenyan soldiers, and five attackers. The attackers held hostages and later engaged in gun battles with Kenyan security forces. Over 200 people were reportedly wounded in the mass shooting with all of the gunmen killed. Her brother-in-law actually uh, went there. Yeah. Uh, he was, I mean, from first hand, he, he was, t I mean, the, the police were said that an uh, uh, explosion uh, took place there in the actual, uh, the, the building. Uh, and I think this time the insurgents had been caught and, uh, and uh, were, were taken away. But then they said there's still someone in there. The police actually wouldn't, wouldn't go in there. But then I think a few hours later, uh, and this is in the evening that the phone came, and uh, they said that... Uh, 
that they think that there were more bodies in in, in the actual uh, shopping shopping center and then the, the police actually piled mattresses and uh, objects in the center of the building and just uh, caused the explosion or set the whole building on fire uh, to bring that to bring part of the building and everything down a spokesman from al shabab uh, has uh, claimed responsibility saying that uh, it was a reprisal attack uh, for Kenyan troops going into Somalia and actually uh, uh, overthrowing uh, Al-Shabaab uh, uh, authority in one of uh, the towns inside Somalia, which is called Kismayo. So uh, they said it was a revenge attack, reprisal attack, and that they would continue until uh, Kenyan troops would uh, leave Somalia and in that uh, country. Kenya became independent in 1963 which led Jomo Kenyatta as the Prime Minister stroke President and founding father of the nation until his demise in 1978. Kismayo town is a town uh, that was very important for Al-Shabaab because it was uh, 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 financially important for them. Uh, they got money, uh, taxes, and they also exported jackal from that town. So. Uh, they were very angry when they lost that town. I think uh, if something like that happens, uh, if if once they, they 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 stop, then the insurgents know that yes, we won. We we massacred you know uh, 60, 70, or 100 people, and the the government have pulled out their their troops. Yeah, the you know whatever they're doing, you know for whatever cause, first find out what what are they what are they doing in in other other another country. I mean, uh, America, UK have been doing that for for decades interfering in other people's country. So I think that the benefit outweighs um, uh, what, what they're trying to do. So coming back to your question, which is what kind of ideology they do have. It is an Islamism, uh, extremist Islamism uh, ideology, which means that it should be the Sharia law that is ruling the whole world and the whole world should become Muslim. It's only the forces and the international community that is preventing them. And we already have uh, African Union troops inside Somalia, and there are plans to bring in United Nations into Somalia. All of it is to stop Al-Shabaab uh, doing what they're doing. One, one child who was, uh, I think, 16 years old, and uh, the grandmother, I think she was maybe uh, 17. I think from the, the day any child com comes into this world, you know, uh, mother, father, parents, grandmothers, they have so many plans from, from, from that day one. When he's one, that have this, two, there's three, four, and you know, future plans, 16th birthday, he just actually had his 16th birthday, not, not too long before that. Uh, and, you know, you've got plans, for, you know, you start dreaming of plans for the wedding, uh, you know, for his future, for his business, you know, he'll, he'll take over the family business, and then something like that happens. It just crushes all that. It just just destroys destroys everything that uh, you you dreamt of. Just so many, so many plans, so many future, so many things that. Uh, There's, there's no, no words can say. I think you know as uh, what has happened has affected many people. Uh, it's not only uh, the civilians or the victims of the attack, but also in the reprisal attacks or when the security forces uh, uh, took steps after the incident has happened. It has also affected many people, innocent people who did not do anything, were arrested and attacked and. Uh, and so on. Uh, the lesson to be learned from this incident is that uh, the civilians should know that they could be victims of, uh, of, 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 of attacks, terrorist attacks and etc. So the main thing is that life should go on. The so more you talk about it, the more you remember the good times, that's the only way you can, that's your counselling. People to shy away, just you know, close up on themselves that they can't, that, you know, that they will destroy themselves. Constantly thinking, 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 thinking. Just remember the good times 
and just remember the times that he or she had with them and just remember that remember that remember the lives remember the uh, the times they, they 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 lived not the passing what could have happened or what should have happened but what's happened is happened and just uh, forgive not forget but just remember the good times and just uh, ca you know carry on i think the bond that we have with with the family and with the extended family they are our, our, our strength and we we forgive them for what for what for what they've done they've destroyed us but we we will arise from that and become even stronger and life, life must go on.